question is from Thomas VP Graham. How do you deal with all the people in the industry when they preach to you that their diet or workout is the best one? Laugh. Yeah. When yeah. I hear that, I know I'm dealing with someone who has little to a no shuckster. Yeah, little to no experience working with a lot of everyday people. Here's the thing about fitness and nutrition. There isn't a lot of good, big, long studies done on lots and lots of people. There just aren't. And, and they're hard to control. If we were to do a big study yeah. on 5,000 people, we'd have to lock them up in a lab, control all the factors, see what works when, and then we can start to make some general statements. It's unfortunate because it would dispel a lot of these myths right away. It would. and you no. Know, so the best thing that we have is experience. And I know when I hear someone say, oh, you know, paleo, that's the best diet ever. It's the absolute best diet or keto or vegan or kettlebells or, you know, machines or going to failure, not going to fail. It's the best. This is the best one ever. I know I'm dealing with someone who hasn't worked with a lot of people. I This took me a while to learn. Um, I remember the first time I worked with a client who genuinely was had the best performance and the best health eating a purely vegan diet. I remember the first time it happened. I had a couple of these where there was a gentleman that I trained and you know he was he was a a doctor um he was very metic meticulous about his tracking he wrote everything down he did everything that I told him was kind of like the perfect client and uh then he went off and did uh one of those um you know doctors without borders you know volunteer work or whatever and he lived um with a uh, in this poor part of the world and all he ate was a vegan diet, and he did a lot of hiking, a lot of walking in order to get from one village to the next to to you know perform his services or whatever. He comes back and he's like, "Dude, he's like Sal, I got to tell you, I've never had so much energy in my life. I feel amazing." He goes, "I think it was the diet. I think I just not eating meat. I think meat makes me feel not so energetic." Now, you know, here I am, a personal trainer. This is probably seven years into my career, and I'm like, "Nah, you know, meat's got a lot of nutrients for most people. It's the best thing." At this point, I hadn't really settled into the like individual variants. I had kind of you know developed some dogmatic views on certain things. We experimented, and sure enough, it worked best with them. I couldn't argue it. Now, I mean, I've encountered a couple other people that way. Now, I've encountered people who are like that with carnivore. I've, I've worked with people who mm -hmm. have a reaction to almost any other food, so they eat just meat, no shit, and they feel best and perform the best. So when I hear someone saying they have the best answer, this is it, I know that they don't know much. You just haven't worked with a lot of people right. yeah. because you can't make that statement about um, there's general truths. Definitely. Um, you know, so there's definitely some crazy shit that's out there that won't work for anybody. Um, but, but boy, you know, when you consider, for example, the, the, the human metabolism, it's, it's one of the most complex things that we've ever identified in the universe. And when you, when you add to that, your microbiome, which is very unique to you, your emotional experiences with food, uh, your the, the your your cultural experiences, how you were raised, your how you react to certain things, context, all that stuff. When you throw that all into the mix, mm -hmm. boy, how you respond to food is going to be very different it's from person not, to person. It's not only so that. much biodiversity. It's, yes. it's not only that. When you when you understand that your body is an adaptation machine, that whatever was best for you. 10 years ago may not be best for you today. That's yeah. right. So You're even not the same person. So even if that statement is true that this is the best workout and the best diet yeah. and somebody followed it and they're like, yes, this is true. This was the best diet and the best workout. It may be for that moment in your life. Mm -hmm. I would and I would challenge you that in five years from now, that's not true. Mm -hmm. How much is your how much is the, the diet that works so well for you at twenty five? Would it work for you today no. at forty? Mm -hmm. No, it wouldn't. The the way you were training, the, the the programming that you did when you first started and you saw your first gains in muscle, did it work for you? Fuck yeah, it did. Would it work for you still today? Probably not. So when you understand that that the body is constantly trying to overcome and adapt and get good at whatever you throw at it, then even if it is the best thing right now. It probably won't be from later on from now. So to say things like that is just naive to me. So I just yeah. chuckle when I hear it's that. It's super naive and it's but it's super common. You know, everybody has the best answer and mm -hmm. you know, even the workouts that we create, you know, we wrote our workouts to work best for most people. But I know that there's gonna be some of you that they're not going to be the best right. workouts for you. Not a lot of you. Um, I'm, you know, we base our workouts based off of all the clients that we've worked with over the last 20 years. And so we generally know 
what's going to work west best for most people. But you'll never hear us make the statement, this is the best for everyone. Yeah, and even then we're trying to consider all the different avatars of people we've come across. And so there's still room uh, for a very specific direction that uh, they can go with their training program that we haven't even scratched the surface of yet. And it's the same, like, that. that's what's so frustrating about, like, diets, because, like, if you think about it, they're, they're, they, they have to sell it that way. They have to sell uh, to get your attention that this is the answer that you've been waiting for, even if it doesn't specifically apply to you. You know, maybe one out of like a couple thousand people, it does. Now they got you. They got you in the system. It's like this, this, this net they're casting out and they're trying to get, get you. I'll give you a great example, okay? Um, I think uh, resistance training, if you had to compare it to any other form of exercise in the context of modern life, and you only had to pick one form of exercise because you had limited time, like most people, I think resistance training for most people would be the best, absolute best form of exercise. Now, why do I say most people, not all? Well, let's say let's say Mrs. Smith is listening right now, and she's like, I got you know 60 minutes or 90 minutes a week to work out. Sal said resistance yeah, training- I hate you guys swear, though. Yeah, re- resistance tra- he, Sal said resistance training is the best. But I really fucking hate lifting weights. My gosh, I hate it. I can't stand it. Every time I do it, I just wish I wasn't doing it. Guess what's not the best form of exercise? It could be physiologically the best form of exercise for her, but she hates it so much she ain't going to do it. So it's not the best form of exercise for you, Mrs. Smith. Uh, we need to do. We need to pick something that you're going to actually do. So that's just one example. There's so many different factors that it's so silly for somebody to make a statement like, this is it, this is the best for everybody Totally wrong. When you hear that, you know you're dealing with someone who is either full of shit and they know it, or they're full of shit and they don't know it. Either way, they're both full of shit.